645 million Kenya shillings for President Uru Kenyatta, uh, Deputy President William Ruto in a new budget. They are getting a pay rise of a particular per percent, which I had actually spotted earlier, Trevor, but I can't see it right now. But nevertheless, that's the update there. Uh, and so... We, what I want to find out from my guests here, and I'll start with you, King Kaka, as you read about pay rise for the president, the deputy, housing allowances for MPs as well, <coughs> what do you feel are the key issues in the nation right now as you interact with your fans, as you interact with Kenyans across the country that our leaders should be focusing on? I think one, um, as much as it's not entitled, um, I feel like the country is not, uh, hasn't created a structure on where the education system leads to employment. Mm -hmm. Uh, so many young people now can get money at a ghetto or whatever. Uh, the parents have really invested. Minimum uh, in my ghetto and my mom alikuana sultana na make sure to me pass school fees. Whatever it takes, I end up to pay a charm or whatnot. And then now you see that this education system has failed us. I'm sure you've seen kwa traffic. Um, mtu ako na na degree ameshika karate. Ameshika bana hivi. Eh manze, unashanga what's going on? But I feel the leaders are, are, are selfish. My opinion is they're selfish. Uh, when we parliament, if it's something that concerns them, when I pitch a very quick, after we never hear of the proceedings. It's official, communication. <laughs> it's official, this, uh, this has been passed. But, but come on the issue uh, the public, then they take a, a time to tell you, it's tabled. So I, I feel leaders are very selfish. Sazile wana kam kutomba votes, Pia would blame the voters. Let's, it's, it's a, for me, it's a two-way traffic. I feel like we know who's a good leader, but we never put them in office. Mm. Well, uh, na, na blindly, tutachukwezo ma 50 bob, na free t-shirts za promo, and we'll vote the fake leaders in. In one sentence, who is a good leader? A good leader nula ana, ana, ana promise na ana, ana tekeleza. Promise and deliver. Yeah, deliver. Yes. But it's a, how do we change that mindset for the youth? Because when you're around you, but who vote here the same people, in as much as they know who they should vote for, to na change your mindset. Because you know, there are those who argue that it's a desperate time, or keep our 50 bob and end on a vote. That's your mindset the thing. Um, your this, this is like a three, four, five month campaign period yeah. that will determine your five year. So lazima tuwa yangali. But now that the youth are going through it, watch, watch how I feel. So that by the time 2022 in a come, now it's upon you again. Yeah. Uh, Less, as much as we are blaming the government, the blame is also on us. Yeah. Yeah. Musiox, what do you think? What, are the, what should be the priorities for the government now? We've seen MPs getting more house allowance and they claim everybody, every other state officer has a house allowance, so they should also have a house allowance. The only difference is they are deciding their own salaries. What, what, what do you think are the priorities that should be, we should be focusing on as a government and not just MPs for themselves? Okay, well, in my fantasy world, <laughs> the ideal <laughs> government is a government that takes care of its citizens' welfare. I mean, it's unbelievable that in this day and age you still have places like Kibera. Yeah. I mean, somebody can't afford basic housing. You know, very, very basic things. And I think that shows a lack of empathy to, towards humanity by leaders. I mean, it's, it's very simple. Yeah. Because somebody wants to think of themselves so much that they forget the other people who are in need. Yeah. At least make someone's life and welfare better. Then from there, you can proceed and do whatever you might want to do. <laughs> there was a quote yesterday by a friend of mine, Shiko Murori. She's like, politicians, please help us grow our economy so that you can steal more. <laughs> steal when we have more. Yeah. Not, when, not when there's absolutely nothing. So, I mean, it's it just beats logic. But how do we go around it? Because like King Kaka was saying, it's the same people who vote. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have the chance to change your odds at the ballot. But we, I mean, for me, I have, I have a very direction. different and controversial view. Yeah, I, I purposely, and now I believe in the controversy that leadership keeps people poor for a reason, to make them dependent on you. So this is intentional. If you it's empower well these people, structure. they'll not, you know, you're going to come to them with promises every five years. We'll build for you this road. Sometimes we'll the exact same promises you've made exactly, the previous Exactly, because now, the, during the election period, they'll show up with sugar, bread, what, what. They'll feed your families, so you'll think this guy is very good. Mm -hmm. Then he vanishes off. 
you go back to your poverty cycle, poverty cycle, spiral, spiral, angry at him. But in those five years, you know, governments are full of bureaucracy. You can't change things overnight. So they take advantage of that lack of uh, immediate response to situations to keep the electorate poor. Five years down the line, unanza kujenga kabarabara, mm. unanza kuleta unga, <laughs> naika steamer. The last year. The last year. So <laughs> you, you eat, you whatever, you eat into their desperation. Yeah. So you're using their desperate situation to help you elevate yourself. I mean, no pun intended, we saw what's happening with Waititu and everything. Guys are all furious, even in my county, Kiambu. We guys are saying, oh, he's stolen, but... I guarantee you, 2021, when you'll be on a track <laughs> distributing T-shirts, you'll not believe it's the same people. Though now Treasury confirms that there were a bit of errors with that budget, mm -hmm. which is also another concern because people are saying Could that be if, set the, up. Yeah, if there were errors, they should have noticed this for a while because Before if this has been operating for I mean, quite some time I mean, time the, now. the entire fiasco is just one crap. I mean, <laughs> is that how you feel? because yeah. honestly, People like who write these accounts and these reports are not stupid to write some of these things. Mm -hmm. you, you, you can also see some political hands there. I mean, yeah. clearly, state of affairs, South Sudan. Honestly, that's From somebody. Just, yeah. That's somebody From just. <laughs> it's somebody just chopping you off. I mean, yeah. it's rather obvious when you look at some of those figures. Yeah. Uh, remuneration for former presidents, five hundred and something million. I mean, honestly, I don't think these guys are stupid. Mm. Yeah. So, so the CEC finance should have seen that even before. They are not even somebody, before they know what was presented. Yeah. So they are just taking us for a ride. Honestly, that that is, is, it's a joke. It was just a circus. It was one <laughs> comedy show. <laughs> there are also those who claim that then the, the young people who are visionary should take up the leadership roles, like you, for example. <laughs> Would you run for? But office? you see, not not everybody is born a leader. Yes. Yeah. That's the thing. That. Um, yeah. But this thing is tricky. Eh? Mm -hmm. We've seen cases where. Unapata young person has really promised, akona uh, all the virtues and come to Missouri. Then eventually when they get to power, you see, is this the same system, person? Uh, hey, is this the same system. person we voted them in? Yeah. Yeah. And then we hear stories who come turning come by, oh, this person, tangu ingies, juyu amepewa mapesa, is no longer ata onekani mtani. And, and, that, and that's, that's very sad. So question is, how do we prevent this cycle from happening? So there's a lot at stake, yeah? Well, while I was in America for my tour, I realized that they, they have created a system whereby this thing, if you don't, if you promise, and it has to work, and then you are accountable to the yeah. public. Accountability. Accountability is very important. So there was this place. They have like a toll. For example, when you come to the city every day, uh, you have to pay like two hundred bob, right? And every two months, they send you an email, letting you know this is the much we've collected. We want to uh, build a bridge. So this is the much you, we've collected from you. This is what the government will give. Then it shows you, like a year from now, this is the bridge, accountability, which we don't have. Unapata, the government is collecting money right, left, and center. And atuta jaonayo pesas, jui barabara, mapoto zina fixiwa for one month. You see guys setting up every day. Unaola to barabara, traffic during the day. Unashanga, what's, what's, what's our problem? <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then the, the sad bit is that Unaski Hospital is in a fungo all the time. We don't have the right machinery. Mm. What work you are, even the rich, even the politicians, when mm. they are sick, they travel abroad. Instead of, nayo pesa wako nayo, when they get into scandals, Unaski wame iba millions and billions. Every, every two weeks, maka tumesha zoya. Tukisikia 300 million, are you at least nikidogo? Ile <laughs> 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 one billion ilikuwa mingi. But then if you realize, eh, like if Uta may build hospital with, with less than 300 million, mm. very good hospital. So all in easy billions in Aibua, zineza side ya the public age. How can they help? Let me ask this to both of you, uh, because you're an artist and you represent artists as well. Different groups of Kenyans have been challenged in the current setup that we find ourselves in, in terms of what are they doing to help Kenya collectively. MPs have been challenged, uh, our leadership has been challenged, the church has been challenged, media has been challenged. The question is, musicians, with the influence that they have, what more can they do to speak about the ills in society through their music? Now this thing, my opinion is, this thing goes, draws back to, to affiliations, right? Mm -hmm. For example, many musician. Now my fan base, Ikona, everyone. Yeah. Uh, maybe my fans were anapenda this politician, this politician, and this politician. 
So if I take one stand kwanza nimesha lose our fans. Mm. Keep in mind, <laughs> eh? Keep in mind. That's my bread. <laughs> Unaelewa? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I need to eat. Unaelewa? So even if I take a stand, unapata uh, and then and then there's a there's a theory that goes around. Eh? There was a time I did a, a political song way back. That thing in any hunt hadi leo. Mpaka leo. Mpaka leo. Guys still pull it out somewhere na kwa kutaka. Wewe waacha bana. Wewe waacha unatuambia nini na unaelewa? And that time I was young, naive, mimi nilikuwa na nilikuwa na niko hustling bado. But run, right now ni learn so much and I, I would take my stand confidently. I, I wouldn't mind that I'm under lose my fans sababu yo. Listen, if I don't stand now, I have three kids manze. And I have What to fight for Kenya? their I, I need to fight for their future now. If I don't Uh, stand up and talk about it I'm gonna do something about it then what I'm gonna papa what did you do nice out here ulikuwa na ulikuwa na chance ya kwa citizen asubuhi man millions were watching you <laughs> and you and you never took a stand mm. and you never said confidently what you stand for what what, what you, you talked about losing fans and i understand everyone here we are here you know if in many respects because we're looking for our daily bread what made a guy like bobby wine decide no matter who i'm going to lose You see now Bobby Wine I'm a very confident stand mm. which I think most of us should but then what one of Gopa so babu keep in mind that musicians within the music music circle to kona friends ambao ni politicians yeah. ambao tunapigana ngao na one on one basis <laughs> wengine tunajua they are corrupt but they are still our friends umeelewa <laughs> <laughs> So that's the Kenya we have right now. Let's not lie to each other. So is in that way all youth find themselves then because there's always the tribal affiliations and then there the people there's that the tribal affiliation. So you there's you know that this person is corrupt but King Kaka ni mtu wangu sasa I'll just vote for him. So the moment the moment umejua ku separate all that with the reality then Kenya can move forward. Yeah. Mr. Yoks, what, what do you make of it? For me, tell us your friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you call? I always say it's all about interests. Yeah. And politics is very big business. I mean, there is even politics in church. And mm -hmm. politics is part of our daily lives. You, you cannot separate politics and humanity. At the end of the day is what do, what do I believe in? What do I want to accomplish and what do I want where do I want to see the change based on what my interests are. For example, you said Bobby Wine. Never forget that behind every political voice there are kingmakers. There are people pushing him. Bobby Wine didn't just wake up and you have, proof? Yes. you have proof of that? I don't have proof, but it's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah. an open secret. Yeah. Okay. There is always somebody behind somebody. Yeah. He's yeah. not alone. No, no, no. And there, there, there are hidden hands that don't want to be seen that are True. always pulling the strings. And there are people who are just born to be activists. Boniface Mwangi, Bobby Wine. There are people who are just born to be militant. Yeah. And it's those people that king makers use to push their political interests. I can guarantee you if Bobby Wine today sat on that seat, there are people who have to benefit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Either for the right reasons or for the wrong reasons. Now that's a choice of personal conscience. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So for those who cannot be activists, yeah. What role can they still play in building their nation? He talked about he, him having three kids. What yeah. role can they play in ensuring that their children inherit a better Kenya? Making the right decisions and making the right informed choices yeah. when you are going to that ballot box i know myself you will never see me standing on a political campaign you will never see me marching i'm sorry <laughs> why not because i don't want to it's just not my it's team. not you it's not me it's not who you are that's even, not how even, i resolve even though issues. you have grievances you yes, will not have, have them aired out there exactly if a protest was called today you wouldn't go depends on how, my, how where the protest is going to take me and what's the viability of it you know you also look which battles do i want to fight mm -hmm. yeah yeah Like Tiagas Monday, I was not gonna. Listen. <laughs> yeah, but to some people it means something. Yeah. For yeah. them, seeing Raila being president, that's their interest. That because for them, that's the guy who is gonna take me out of my misery. Yeah. For me, no. So I, I, I wouldn't go that route. But if my guy is out there, Tiagas Monday, I'll go support him. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, it's what am I interested in? And also, as people who go, go, go into power thinking that they're going to be good people corruption is a tool of power don't forget that so it's in other places it's called lobbying but it's the same thing mm -hmm. same yeah. thing <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah in in advanced governments it's called lobbying right. in third world country it's called corruption but it's the same thing all right yeah people use corruption as a means of enhancing and pushing their interests mm. yeah
Yeah. And on that note, let's take a quick break. When we come back, we're getting into the social square discussion. We're talking about the hustle trail. We'd like to find out where they started before they got where they are. We'd like to find out how much peer pressure plays into this, how much upbringing plays into this, how much the education system plays into this entire hustle trail. That's what we call it. But we'll also find out where they started. You can call in as well, 0719 777 The hashtag has always been daybreak. We have our Twitter handles as well. What are they responding to, Higgs? Um, there is what you just said. <laughs> hustle, okay, so, so basically it's about the hustle trail yeah. and understanding what is, what is a quote-unquote ethical hustle in this country. What does it look like? What is the path to that? Is yeah. it education? Is it peer pressure? Is it where you are born? For example, are you a more effective hustler if you are born in an urban setup mm -hmm. than in a rural setup? Because are you better off being a book smart or a street smart? Or street smart. What are the options? Young people out there, whoever you are watching this program, let us know your thoughts. 2242 is the SMS line. The hashtag is Daybreak and the numbers are the ones he said. 0719 <laughs> at Citizen TV Kenya. Trevor Mbija at Waiga Mwaura. We'd like to hear from you right after this short break. We can also see a lot of mm. feedback already coming in will sample okay. some of them during the social square time. We'll That's be right. moving positions by the way. Different this location, is the official serious newspaper stuff but now it's the easy conversation. See you in just a bit.